Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. So here we have a 1969 Mustang that is in need of some rust repairs, unfortunately right by the rear glass. This process will be the same for the years of 1965 through 1973. Uh, all those years have that gasket seal right below the trim as you see here. Now I'm using a plastic pry tool so that I don't damage the uh, stainless steel chrome. Now if you don't already have yourself a set of these uh, plastic pry tools, I'll go ahead and share a link on the description box below. So as you have already been seeing, I'm going in about 75 to 80% of the way into the inside of the trim and I'm trying to rock it back and forth uh, doing a lifting motion and you can tell there that I've already released some clips. They're not all going to be too friendly so they're not always going to pop right off at your first attempt so just be patient with it keep rocking it back and forth I started off at this corner and it just wasn't uh, you know working with me but as you saw right there in the middle it, it did lift up on me so uh, they are coming loose it just takes a little bit of patience so here patiently going in going as soft as I can but kind of firm at the same time and we're gonna pop off right there the, the clip finally let go I was able to push in the pry tool about you know 50 to 80 percent in somewhere in that range and I just keep walking with it keep going with it now I had my compressor running in the background so I kind of lowered down the volume here but I'm about to raise it back up so that you can hear real time what these clips sound like when they're popping off and that way you can have a good idea of what everything's gonna look sound and feel like when you're doing it And I forgot to mention that this is the motion you want to follow when you're trying to unclip the trim. And here's just a quick close-up of the clips that the stainless steel trim attaches to and this is the back side of the trim where the clips hang onto. so I hope this video gave you a good understanding on how the clips and trim attach to the car and helps aid you on your trim removal process now if you did find value in this video please hit that like button because it lets YouTube know that this is good content and they will continue to push my videos forward. Until next time, everybody, y'all be safe.